Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. And today, we have something brand new, and uh, arguably very cool, depending on uh, if you like the show or not. We have four figures from The Acolyte, the new Star Wars show on Disney+, Plus, and these are the Jedi characters. We have uh, Master Saul... Uh, we have Yord Fandar, uh, Jeki Lon, and Master Indara. Okay, so, I think they look cool. Was kind of surprised to find these. Dear Nephew Brad uh, just found these at Walmart. And uh, I'm glad these are hitting pegs at the same time that their show is on, which that, you know, it always helps, I think. Um, we're going to open up one and then take a look at them individually. Let's open up... Good old Master Soul. I like this guy. This is my favorite character on the show so far. And like I said, I have really been enjoying the show. I think it's cool. It's something new and interesting. And, uh, you know, there's bits of weirdness in, sprinkled in here or there, but it hasn't been enough to really ruin it for me or detract from what it is. But I haven't really watched tonight's episode yet. <laughs> so, you know, it's been good so far. Fingers crossed. Uh... So, pretty cool packaging. I think, you know, you've seen these packages. They're all going in the recycle bin here in five minutes from now. But uh, I figured we'd look at one. Because uh, I was told uh, these are different somehow. I don't know. I don't pay attention to packaging that much. It looks the same to me. I know they were kind of slanted on one side for a bit. Which doesn't bother me. I don't care. Like I said, this is all... Going in a recycle pile here directly. All right, and see, empty box. I don't know. I don't keep these things. And he just comes with a lightsaber, which, you know, one thing about these new lightsabers on this show is they, I, I really feel like they were created in mind to sell at Disney parks. Because anybody that knows anything about lightsabers knows that Disney's lightsabers are, like, really fat. Um, <laughs> they're not overweight. They don't eat too many kyber crystals. They're just, they're very thick. Uh, because, you know, it's just easier for them to deal with the whole electronics and putting the blade in and out. Uh, and it looks cool. I like it. That's fine. It's good enough. But if you know about lightsabers, then... If you've been to Disney parks getting their lightsabers or bought their lightsabers online, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so Master So, I like his... <sighs> One thing off the bat, I'm so glad that they all have Jedi robes. Nothing irritates me more than getting a Jedi with no Jedi robe. Case in point, we're now getting the two characters from Ahsoka, who had they originally released with no robes and the wrong colored lightsabers with robes and the right colored lightsabers. Well, guess what? I'm going to keep the ones with no robes and wrong colored lightsabers because they should have got that right to begin with. So Master Soul has his cool little gauntlets on. That's kind of cool. I didn't, you know, I knew these guys were going to... This is 100 years before Episode 1. I knew they were going to have, uh, you know, pretty much regular Jedi costumes, but they are a little different. They're more uniform than we're used to seeing the Jedi wearing. Uh, we didn't see Jedi wear little armor bits until the Clone Wars. Um, so that's cool that that was a thing before. And their belts are a little thicker here. Their obies are a little thicker. Sometimes different colors. They don't really match. Maybe they, the colors mean different things. I, I don't know yet. Uh, his boots are pretty cool. I'm going a little deep on this guy because he's a neat character. Very good figure, very good likeness, very good sculpt. And uh, let's see, can he hold his lightsaber? I'm sure he can. Yeah, there he goes. He holds it just fine. All right. And uh, let's take a good look. Very good sculpt on this guy, man. They are getting really good with these sculpts. I don't know if they're $30 good, but they are very good and very nice looking. Now, I was already warned that these, their hoods to their robes are kind of just, you know, there's a little stitch keeping them in place, and uh, I'm going to leave it there. That's fine with me. 
I don't need to put it over his head because, you know, 99% of the time they don't wear them like that. So that's Master Soul, and now let's take a look at the rest of the game. Okay, and we're back, and here's the rest of them out of their little packages. And uh, let's start with uh, my second favorite character of the show, Jackie. Now, I thought Jackie was cool in the show. I thought she was smart and kind of a badass. And uh, kind of a, you know, spoiler alert, kind of shame. Shame what happened to her. Uh, but, man, she looks really cool. She's a little different. She doesn't have the, like, gauntlets or whatever. I was like, I don't know, maybe maybe because she's a Padawan or hasn't earned them yet. I don't know. But uh, her Padawan braid looks cool. Her sculpt, her lightsaber is pretty cool. Just, you know, really good character. Really nice sculpt. Um, they did a good job on her. They do a good job on all these, really. I'm just kind of getting tired of paying close to 30 bucks for a, a figure. But, yeah, at least we're starting to kind of see some, some quality improvements for, you know, bang for your buck, so they say. Um... Yeah, they all, all their, even their robes are slightly different, which I appreciate, you know. Uh, from a glance, you would think that all their sculpts and robes and everything are the same. They're not. They're all different. They're all unique to that character. And I wouldn't be surprised if down the road we saw uh, re-releases of these, like in their, their temple gear, you know, their little white robes. And, you know, this is more like their field gear outfits, I guess. Um, but, yeah, she's pretty awesome. And I did want to point out, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but she is the same species as this lady here from uh, Jabba's Court. She's one of the dancers from the special edition, so if you're familiar with her, then, you know, maybe you'll be like, oh, that's where I know that character from. Or that's why she's familiar. And then we have Carrie Ann Moss, uh, Trinity from... Uh, the Matrix. Um, she was just great in the show. Really good sculpt. Love this. Didn't even realize her hair was like that. That's cool. But, you know, a very, you know, her, I think her outfit is uh, probably the most unique, honestly, um, which is cool. You know, Jedi always seem like, you know, with, you know, Able Secure running around that, you know, the, the, they let the ladies have, you know, a little more say in what they want to wear. But, uh, man, I like it. She looks good. Good figure. Cool lightsaber. She's got, what, some, like, half gloves there? Not really gauntlets. Nope. Only on the one hand. Okay. That's weird. Didn't notice that before. But, um, man, she looks good. Dig it. And last but far from least, my boy, Yord. Good old Yord. Man, I like this guy. I thought... You know, from uh, some interviews the actor did, which made him look kind of like a doofus. I really thought this character was going to be a big doofus, but eh, which he kind of was a little bit. But he he was good. I liked him. Good guy. Um, and his costume is probably more like Master Soul, but you know they're all unique. They're all a little different. You know, probably the their I, I want to say their boots are very similar, but even their boots are different. They're just the same color. And uh, I guess I just noticed this fun fact. The the actor who plays him, I can't remember his name. Um, he, he actually wears a head a hair piece. Uh, so he doesn't have the, the cool hair there in, in real life. But uh, it, it almost looks like the figure doesn't have real <laughs> hair either. Like It's like a separate, a separate piece that they like glued onto the top of his head. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. It looks, it looks fine. Because the sculpt looks good. He's got a cool little expression, you know. He's very confident. He, you know, he knows what's up. He's going to do good on this mission and totally not get killed. And he has got a yellow lightsaber. This might be the first yellow lightsaber uh, we have in the Black Series. Except for, um, I don't know, what's the lady's name with the double bladed? I can't think. My brain is a sharp as a rusty tack. Anyway, uh, he's got a cool yellow lightsaber that he loved to pull out constantly on the show. And, 
you know, he was always ready for aggressive negotiations. But here we go. Here are the, and uh, I'm sorry, I don't have the other two yet to review. Good Lord, I can't get him to stand up. Stand up. Come on, Yord. All right. So there they are. You guys like the Acolyte? I've been enjoying it. Me and Brad like it. Um, these figures, they look really good, man. I did not expect to want these. You know, when they first came out, I was like, man, nothing really strikes me about them but you know after having them in hand seeing them I, yeah they're good they're good you know if you if you if you don't care anything about it you don't care about having just you know you know if these are just kind of generic jedi too, i mean they could just be background jedi too but you know if, if you don't care anything about the show or the figures i i get it i totally understand i could see why people wouldn't like it but uh yeah i, I think they're cool glad to have them Glad to pick them up. If you if you guys been finding these in your area yet, I was lucky to pick these up, and uh, hopefully I, I get. Uh, let's see, there's only a couple more. Hopefully they make the. I'm looking forward to them making uh, uh, Basil and the Stranger and um, Master the the Wookie <laughs> and um, Master uh, Floaty make you know uh, uh, a Poison Taker guy that guy. Uh, can't remember his name off the top of my head, but I uh, just want to wrap this up with saying thanks for uh, watching the video. Hope we all tune in and watch the Acolyte together tonight. And, uh, you know, if you love it, hate it, thanks for watching the video. Please give us a like and subscribe. Maybe some of our other stuff we talk about you'll like more. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. And until next time, we'll see you.